Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be drawing this bear eating a cupcake on a bus. You know, the regular everyday kind of scene that you might expect from me. And I'm going to be talking about fan art. First a little disclaimer up front. This video is not supposed to be fan art bashing in any way. Although I don't do fan art myself, I do understand that a lot of people like it and that the internet is full of it. I'm not judging that in any way and I have nothing against that at all. If you really enjoy fan art, then there is probably no reason to stop what you're doing. That upfront. I have a few thoughts on the subject though that might enlighten you as to why you might not be enjoying it as much as other people do. And even if you're enjoying it, fan art might be hurting you in ways that you've never even thought about. First of all, you might not have realized that fan art is actually illegal. It is copyright infringement. Yes, you might now think, but hey, isn't this fair use? And I will link a video below that will explain to you exactly why most of the time it isn't fair use. In most cases, nobody actually cares about that it is copyright infringement. The companies don't generally sue their fans, but it does happen. So if you're making fan art, it might happen to you too, one day. Especially if you do iffy things like selling fan art. Now there are cases where your art is so important to you that you might do something illegal to continue doing it. But I won't encourage you to do that. So think about what you do. Think about how it will affect you if a company comes after you. So just simply be aware of it. Here the most important aspect is that selling the artwork, if it is fan art, is a very bad idea and a company is much more likely to come after you if you do that. And this also includes monetizing YouTube videos in which you draw fan art. Now, apart from the obvious legal repercussions that fan art might have on you, there are also more unseen effects that it might have on your art. Fan art can be very good for your artistic development. I'm not disputing that. For example, if you draw a lot of Marvel comics, then you might learn an awful lot about anatomy that you wouldn't have learned otherwise. However, there's one thing that you're not practicing when you're making mainly fan art. And that is character development. And as you might know, you can only get good at something when you practice it a lot. You won't be practicing character design, so you will see less improvement with that and in this way your art will suffer. It's a common phenomenon that original art gets a lot less likes than fan art. And the reason for that is often said to be that the characters are much more recognizable. That's only one aspect though, since if you haven't practiced character design, how could you be good at it? And that's what your original art probably suffers from too. And since you get far less likes from your original art, you will be less inclined to make more original art. You will be more inclined to do fan art and you still won't be practicing your character design. This then becomes a vicious circle and the less likes you get for your original art, the less likely you will be to practice and so you will always get less likes for your original art because you're not practicing. And this leads to another problem that I see with artists who do a lot of fan art. They start to feel very bad about their original art because it gets much less attention than their fan art and they're wondering why no one is interested in their own ideas. If you're still very young, this might not be a big problem, because you're still learning and you expect to have not as many likes as other people and so on and so forth. But as you get older, this might become a serious strain on your art and you might even stop making art altogether because you feel self-conscious about your own ideas and so on and so forth and you will face the reality of things that tells you, oh, living off art is difficult and no one is interested in your ideas, so better not pursue it. Basically, although you might really enjoy making fan art, 
it might make you sad in the long run. And then there are of course also those people who do fan art because they know that it gets a lot of likes. And they do it only for that reason, even though they are not interested in the franchise and they don't really enjoy it. It is really tempting to do that sort of thing, because attention is something very enticing. Especially in times when there are so many artists out there trying to get attention. Of course they want this attention to be for their own work, but they might think that fan art is a way to get that. And in a way it is, because it helps you gain more followers and they might stick around to see your original work too. However, we are all inclined to react to social media in unconscious ways. And even when you're not enjoying fan art, you might be inclined to do more of it because you get the most likes for it. And when you're not actually enjoying the fan art making part of the process, then that encourages you to do things that you don't actually like doing. Basically, it's a slippery slope. The more you do fan art, the more your followers will expect you to do fan art and will discourage you from doing anything else, which means that if you're not enjoying fan art, it's going to be very difficult not to despise social media after a while. Sure, it might take a lot longer to gain a following with your original works, but if these followers are actually invested in what you're doing, then you can be sure that all of your followers will be interested in seeing only what you're doing and your own ideas. I would rather have a few hundred interested followers than a few thousand followers who are not really interested in my work. If they followed because they saw Spider-Man, they will expect you to do a Spider-Man again. And maybe you don't want to do that. So you have to ask yourself the question whether that kind of a follower is really the one you should be targeting. Now I've talked about all the problems that fan art might cause, but I also have a few solutions for you that might help you if you're stuck in those sorts of cycles. First, let's start with the obvious one. Don't sell fan art. It's a way to get yourself into a lot of trouble. If you don't enjoy fan art, stop making fan art. It's really that simple. Sure, you will probably lose followers, but everyone who's left after that is going to be someone who's interested in your work and not in the fan art that you don't want to be doing anyway. Making art is difficult enough without forcing yourself to do things that you don't actually enjoy doing. It's just that simple. If you do enjoy making fan art, then I don't think there's a reason to stop doing it. But maybe balance things a little more. Don't only do fan art. And maybe just make yourself a rule to do more original art than fan art. Maybe do fan art Friday instead of doing fan art the whole week and one original piece a week. And instead of comparing the likes you get from original art to the likes you get from fan art, compare it between each other. Are the likes that you're getting from original art slowly increasing? Or maybe not? And if it's not getting better, ask yourself why? Your fan art should be in a category of its own and shouldn't factor in your judgement of your original art at all. And maybe if the reaction of people on social media to your original art is a problem for you, then the solution could also be to stop posting to social media altogether. At least for a while. I did that for my photography, and it really helped me to appreciate the photos for themselves rather than for the reaction they might get me on social media. And the same can work for you and your art too. Try to remember why you're making art in the first place, and it should be because you're enjoying it, not because of the gazillions of likes you might get for a Superman drawing. And well, maybe you weren't really interested in my ramblings about fan art anyway, and you just wanted to see what a bear eating a cupcake on a bus looks like. Personally, I'm a big fan of bears, so bears are my personal fan art. 
basically the takeaway message is to simply do what you love doing. If you love drawing Spider-Man, then that's perfectly alright, and you can continue doing that. Just sometimes it's not such a good idea to post it on social media, that's all. I'm lucky enough to have grown up before social media, so I could draw whatever I liked, and I didn't even have a notion of original art versus fan art in the first place. We just made art, and that's all. In any case, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more bears, then please subscribe. There will be more bears, always, because I'm a big fan. I'm also eager to hear what you think about this whole topic of fan art. Maybe you can share your experiences and why you like drawing fan art. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you soon for another video. Bye!